Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey. I'm back with another tricky ITCSE question. And this one uh, doesn't tell you really where to get started. So you have to have a good understanding of this particular topic. So it says that G is the point on the curve with the equation Y is equal to X, so 8X squared minus 14X minus 6. So that's a quadratic, uh, where the gradient is 10. Now, how do we find the gradient of a curve? Well, that is differentiation. So we're going to have to find the gradient function dy by dx by differentiating. So the power comes down times by the coefficient. So 2 times 8 is 16. And then we drop the power down by 1 to x to the 1, which is just x. Here, the power is 1. That multiplies by uh, minus 14 to get minus 14. Drop the power down gives you x to the 0. x to the 0 is just 1, so what's the point writing it? And any constant differentiates to 0. So there we go. That's the gradient function for the curve. And we want to find when this is equal to 10. So solving this, I'm going to get 16x is equal to 24, which means that x is equal to 24 over 16, which means that x is equal to 1.5. Lovely. Okay, now it says that um, the straight line Q passes through the point G and is perpendicular to the tangent. So it's perpendicular. Okay, so what do we know about Q? Well, we know the gradient of Q. The gradient is perpendicular to the gradient of the tangent. And the gradient of the tangent is just the gradient at that particular point. So Q is perpendicular to the gradient of 10. So the negative reciprocal gives us the perpendicular gradient. So that would be minus 1 over 10. So we flip it over, 1 over 10, and we take the negative of it. And because it was a positive, it becomes a negative. OK. Um, we also know it passes through the point G. So in order for me to actually find the equation of the line Q, I need the whole point G. I need the X and the Y coordinate. So let's find the y-coordinate of g by substituting in the corresponding x-coordinate. So I can do this like that. And then I can go to my calculator and just be very careful that I type in exactly the right thing. So I can do that. I know that it will square first before times it by 8 because the calculator is an absolute bid mass legend. And then we get this, so that should be good, and we get y is equal to minus 9. Lovely. Okay, so we now know that the point G is the point 1.5 comma minus 9. And we also know that Q, um, we need to use our y equals mx plus c. So we have y is equal to m, which is minus a tenth x plus c. Let's sub in a point we know is definitely on the line where y is minus 9 and x is 1.5. So therefore we can work out what c is. So I would do um, minus 9 and then we move the other one to the other side. So I add on one tenth multiplied by 1.5. So we get C is equal to minus 177 over 20. Okay, so I can rewrite my equation now like this one tenth x minus 177 over 20. And you might be thinking I'm done, but it does say here that it wants it in this particular form. So that which, which means I need to uh, make sure all my coefficients are integers. So I'm going to times through by 20 here, and that's going to clear both of those denominators. So times it by 20 gives me 20y. Times it by 20 minus a tenth gives me minus 2. And this gives me minus 177. So now I can move all of my terms over to the left-hand side and they all become positive, which is nice and convenient, equals zero. And that is the correct form they asked for. And that is a question 23 on differentiation, which is really like an A-level question. 
Uh, but we did it. Yay. And if you like this content, then please do subscribe and check out my other videos on GCSE Maths. Bye for now.